we're gonna do now it's and the route to start from Tess and uh, you turn your right from the gate uh, to the main road and I call this one A6 Leicester so come on to Tess and turn right all the way to the end and then we turn your right
get asked to pull up on the left in a safe place, we make sure there's no signal before this road, and you can pull up on the left anywhere, and as long as you go higher curb and not blocking an entrance of the houses. While I'm driving, I'm looking myself down, and I look like a roundabout coming. I've seen the sign. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. This yellow box, if the traffic was ahead, we should keep it clear. There was nobody there, so I could go. So roundabout, yeah, she said we're going ahead, second exit. So it is great traffic for this time. So even the following distance or... It should be not too close to the car. I have to see the tire front car when I'm stopping basically behind them. Right, so roundabout, we're going ahead, second exit. Now, as a bit of traffic, make sure you're not blocking this road on the left. You must keep it clear. There's no space here, I can still wait. When there's space open for me in one car, then I can go. So space opens. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. So then, because of this retail park on the left, this roundabout always busy. Now, let's talk about this roundabout. It is a bit tight, this roundabout. You got still got road markings. Your lane is, um, you can see which one's your left lane and right lane. But you go going across the roundabout, second exit, and we're going straight ahead. So my position should be to my left hand lane. This um, pelican crossing before the roundabout. Make sure if there's traffic ahead of you, don't stop on it. Cross okay. the roundabout and take the second exit. So position to the left. Yeah, left hand lane all the way. And signaling and going out. Now, this as the roundabout or ter terminus roundabout come in. So I'm turning right, third exit. And you get told you can use either lane, so left and right. It's easy for me to keep the left hand lane. After 100 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A607. Right, because, because I get told lots you can use either lane, my left, either lane, left and right. So I'm choosing to use the left lane. Why? Because it makes it easier for me. So I am going to turn right from the left lane. That's only this roundabout because we get told but we got choice of using both lanes. That's why I'm using left. Using right hand lanes, there's no problem, but better using the left hand lane. As soon as I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna put my signal on, and the other cars will know where I'm going. So I'll keep my to left lane. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, so A607. Let's go all the way around to the right from the left lane. Carriageway now, 70 miles an hour. You have to make sure you get enough speed. So do not drive under 60. If your speed go under 60, that means you make you're making a major fault in your test. So it's nice and clear, there's nobody there, it's clear. So I have to hit about 70. Above 65. After 800 yards, great. go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A46. Okay, so I haven't seen the roundabout yet, so I've seen the roundabout, I'm turning left, first exit. So sometimes from the slip road car joining, so you have to let them in. Yeah. I'm going 
turn left, so I have to keep my left hand lane. There's a two lane showing to the left, so I better use the left lane because I'm turning left. So position should be next to the curb. Uh, still I'm in dual carriage way, but is a roundabout ahead of me and controlling by light, that's why it's better. After 100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A46. Exit, 86. So I'm going to overtake this lorry because it is very slow. It's going so slow so I'm allowed to overtake. Then after overtaking back to my left lane. Again, slip road on the left. Make sure if somebody join in, you just let them in. Or if it's safe, you have to move to the right lane. And again, come back to your left lane. So after... So I'm turning left, but it's not yet. Do not get confused. It's because she's not saying to turn left now. Otherwise, I had to go from this point. After 800 yards, take the exit, A6. Then, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. So I'm looking at the board, A6 showing left. Yeah, I've seen the... Take the exit, way out. then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Signal in, then follow that arrow. about come in, I need to turn left first exit. So After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A6. So turning left first exit, I need to keep the left hand lane. It is a bit uphill, so make sure you use a bit of the gas or your handbrake to car not to roll back or goes off. Now coming to the 40 road from the dual carriageway. lane on my left lane, my left side, I'm not allowed to use the bus lane because uh, no time on it. Now red light, to start braking a bit early and stopping as soon as you get tired or disappear then I'll stop. Right, something important coming ahead on this because uh, my lane will get separated after bus lane that means my lane becoming left lane so i am in a speed lane at the moment because the bus lane my left
pass on that left lane, you have to make sure it's safe before you go to that left lane. I put my left signal on. I'm not going to go left to make sure it's safe. I'm looking at my mirrors. Uh, it's good to go. Then I'm going to left lane. I can use the speed lane as well, I mean overtaking lane, but better not to. So this lane is safer for you, the left hand lane. So I am in a quick lane and I'm falling over the head. So look at that lane becoming to the one lane, so they have to watch out for me. right once you position to the left you put your signal on you do your early checks and choose the way you're going to then you're going when you stop you're allowed to check by lowering your mirror to see are you in the box here yeah? if you're not in the box you're allowed to go out straight back and fix it but I am in so don't need to do that and now I'm gonna move out from the car park or look around all the blind spots left and right everywhere 
especially behind me. I have to look around, turn around and look behind me. And when the car is straight, then here one get out to check all the way around before I move and move in. Now from the gate I'm turning left. Because still again you're not able to see somebody gonna turn in or not, so go very nice and slow. And now very slowly. So good to go. Now this junction is very confusing. Right, so we're in the road, we're turning right. Turning right is not the end of the road. It's just here on the right side. Turn right. Even even the sat nav right. telling you. It's a very small turning and like a little junction there. So I'm turning there. It's just only a space of one car. Then when I go right again, uh, and I able to see, I have to make sure it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's good to go. Now coming here is a um, giveaway for me. I mean, if somebody was coming out to give way, so get a little bit better forward to see. I've seen it, nobody come. Now, while you're going, if somebody come, then I have to wait for you, because you are the you know, blocked um, road, so do not stop after give way. If you already passed the give way, just carry on, you know, do not stop. no pedestrians then here and stop look on the right, right side it's good to go this is the first exit now I'm gonna join the fuel carriageway so I'm on the slip road so I've seen it I'm gonna join in after the signal on earlier and I keep looking in my right mirror to make sure it's safe to join in even quick on the shoulder that'd be good other side of traffic I should wait it behind to see the space coming so it was a space that just carried on <laughs> this time of day is 
vai mesmo, hein? So from here you just um, not following the sad enough anymore. Just uh, you get told where to go. Basically means the uh, end of the independent driving. seen it, they are showing left only, middle for ahead and the right for the right. So that means I need to keep the middle lane because the left lane is for left only. Okay, so approaching the roundabout now, I look on my right side, see is uh, it's good to go. That is safe. After first exit, no signal. Thank you. 